Hey everybody, and welcome back to Kirby in the Forgotten Land. You may be wondering why we're starting here as opposed to literally back on the world map. Because technically this is the first time we're seeing this particular version of the title screen. Yep, usually they just start you... Usually they just oh. start you straight away with the, uh... With, with your adventure as a whole, but now we get to have our grandiose little Waddle Dee town. Do, 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 do. Which is still in shambles from the looks of things. We're gonna have to get me a couple more... We're gonna have to get ourselves a couple more Dem Dare Waddle U's in order to build this place in tip-top shape. Waddle U's. Waddle who? There are no Waddle I's in Waddle Team. Well... Waddle who? Is that like That a, one I guess I remember Is that like a bootleg version of Doctor hmm. Who in the odd. Copy oh, universe? Oh, maybe it's because I'm in two times scale mode. Eventually, I'm just gonna slap this mouse. It's gonna work. Okay, <laughs> let's see what happens now. What the blue mouse flying around you? Okay, yeah, it was the dynamic lighting. Yay! Or di dynamic resolution, my bad. We finished the first world. God damn it! We did all our grand fun. We asked for a nice, fun beach vacation, and after painstakingly tracing through all this part, uh, and here we are, the Everbay Coast. Are you serious? Yeah, it's a nice little fun beach. You know what? Maybe emulation isn't quite as flawless as people think it is. Actually, you know what? <clears throat> I'm gonna punish Logan real quick and do this part first. Ah! <laughs> no, I don't get to time. do nothing. <laughs> you ruined this man's soul. Right? Penalty game. You get to be the hype man or the guy who says distracting things at him. Take out them scarfies. But the how? Power. He has no power. I'm well, literally all by my lonesome, and I mean, I could uh, I could just blow on them one by one. If only he could stress eat his way out of these problems. Whoa. As you ruin this man's soul more, I'm gonna take a sip uh, on my hot chocolate. Oh, oh wait, he totally can. Oh. oh. <laughs> you actually have hot chocolate? Right. Oh, I can. Yes. Oh. Sweet, sugary, hard, and nectar <gasps> of the gods. Yo. I'm not sharing. Fuck off. I know you're not sharing, but... Uh, you, you know that noise Bark makes when, uh... He drinks the all slush squishy, I think. Yeah. Uh, I imagine there that's whatever happens when uh, Kirby has an invincibility candy. <laughs> I oh. mean, the was the invincibility. You failed. I was about to say, Devil Dam, that's strict. I mean, you say well, that. I could just. I could also just imagine him literally going on, <clears throat> go reaching like Donnie from uh, Wild <laughs> Thornberries. Right. <laughs> Let me get it. I think you have it. Much appreciated, Doug. Thank you. Uh, just, just go to the beach. Wanna... Let's go to the beach. <laughs> yes, listen to the blue rat. Blue I, rat. I need to figure out. I, I want to figure out who yeah, did the acting for that character because he went flying around with you. Okay, I, uh, I just did not know we were assigning him to be Donnie. Okay. All right. <laughs> Let's go get ourselves some nice, fun adventure. So, unfortunately, as far as the 3D adventure goes, uh, no swimming underwater for us youngsters. Oh. Nope, which for Kirby, I think, works to his benefit. Yeah, I'd probably I'd say so, considering this is a very... Again, the structure of this game is very Mario 3D World slash Crash Bandicoot-esque, and I don't think underwater travel would exactly fit it the best. And we now know what we need to find around here. We need to find ourselves... Uh, also, I love bomb when you use Bomb Kirby. The, the bombs immediately get their own freaking lifesavers. <laughs> yeah. I like that's, that. That's oh, that's that's the that crocodile oh, thing oh, be killed. Oh, what a I'll save you. I thought I could kill it. All right, let's leave. Yeah, this, unfortunately, this these things are anymore. indestructible for the time being. Why leave when you have a toy right there? <laughs> also, don't hop on me. I, I should. I did not mean to hop on this thing. They won't let me off. You gotta, you gotta break that nut on the left. Do you really have to break that yeah, nice. There we go. Look they are going that. to literally eat you alive again, Jake. What happened to that Sir Kibble? Logan? Good question. Uh, that is actually one thing I will say against Kirby in the Forgotten Land. Uh, there are some cases, there are some exceptions, but for the most part, uh, enemies will not respawn. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Which is a bummer, because usually you're going to need them for their copy abilities. Ooh. Welcome to summer, drinks hot chocolate. <laughs> well, I don't know, like, isn't a... it now officially autumn? Uh, actually, yes, yeah. this recording, it's a, it's more, it's close to autumn anyway. I was about actually. to say, Steve, that's the joke because of the stage we're on. <clears throat> you fool! I got the feeling that we've got a mini boss. <gasps> bonkers! bonkers! Wild bonkers! You've gotten a lot hairier since last time I saw yeah, you. It's the main reason why he joined the Beast Corps. Actually, it's funny, now that it's autumn, God like, damn. I noticed my grandmother, like, has, like, this, um, this pumpkin spice, Whoop. um, cream. And I kind of want to try that out. 
No, with your durians. And I never got the appeal of pumpkin spice. It's a very autumny flavor, is why. Hammer. Anyways, here's the int re oh, reintroduction to hammer. I just yeah. need pumpkin spice latte. That's all I need right now. Yeah. Yeah. Is that thing wow, gonna get me nice. fired? That's my bananas. Yeah, that's my Not banana the now. Bug. You just you just go ahead and enjoy that. I'll just settle with my uh, Dr. Pepper here. Dr. Pepper. Also, as a quick discretion, ladies and gentlemen, if I curb fart here and there, it's because I'm slightly dealing with a lesser, lesser than stellar inner now on my uh, on far sack. Oh no! Oh nuts! I mean, thankfully this game's not that doesn't demand that much strict reaction time, but you know, sometimes I might make 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 a honest mistake here and there. Nonsense! Kirby's a very demanding boy. Only at the dinner table. <laughs> he demands his breakfast, lunch, and dinner every hour. Yes. I sure do. By the way, don't go into that doorway yet. You have a secret to your right. Okay. A little sand sculpture. Oop. Break it. Or was a sand sculpture. <laughs> I, I almost wish that the text would say, it's like, Ving, you're a dick. <laughs> hey, you're a dick. How could you? It was just standing there minding its own business. <clears throat> T take down that sand sculpture like a monster. You monster. monster. Achievement unlocked. You're a poopy dick. Be a beachside <laughs> bully. You have fulfilled your purpose for science. You monster. You monster. Whoa! And yet, wouldn't it sort of be paradoxical considering Kirby could do no wrong? Uh, it could depend. Sometimes he does make a, make a few awesome mistakes here and there, like uh, trusting a. Uh, Fox was just fucking sleeping. What the hell, man? Sorry. Trusting some random funny guy with a hat. Well, see, that's the thing. He won't do any. I don't think he'll do anything evil intentionally, but he is certainly too trusting for his own pink, his own pink puffy self. Not only trusting one strange guy with a hat, but two. Yeah, he really uh, should. Does Elf and One count? They don't have a hat, but they sometimes act like a hat. Well, we don't we don't know exactly <clears throat> if Elf One is as bad as say Marks or uh -oh. Magalore before. Him. Our first timed uh, cage. Ow! Didn't we do one of these already in the first one? Nope. No. This is the first one I can think of. <clears throat> Excuse me. And that's Carpenter you... dedicated. Oh. Wow, this calls for a celebration, Bur. No, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> We did, we did. And, and Waddle Dee's thinking to himself, oh, I wonder if there's a Kirby cafe nearby. I'm so hungry. I want one in here. <laughs> Kirby slowly turns to face Waddle Dee. Oh. I'm not saying I dislike the whole, you know, cafe Canopio, cafe toad thingy. If that comes to, oh, hey. If that comes to, um. Super Nintendo in, World? Yeah, Super Nintendo World in, Orlando, in uh, you know, Hollywood. But I. Cool. Really, Kirby. You're good what kind of food stuff do you like, think they'll offer? Oh, I mean, you can. I mean, you can already kind of get a preview of it from the. I know they the offer like a burger, a pizza. They have so a pasta uh, get bowl thing. They have Actually, pasta bowls, which, which are apparently not that good. Oh, it's funny. Nice. Like, I, I knew of the burgers. Like, like the the Mario bacon burger looks really good. I didn't know they had pizza there. Well, I mean, it's, it's, the, it's that weird Japanese pizza. Oh, <clears throat> this looks like it's, it's that weird something. Japanese pizza. Oh, I'm not interested. Do anymore. not. How, oh, brother? <laughs> No nothing. Uh, yeah, no nothing. Ring Kirby. Ah! He is in oh, constantly yeah, scream language. mode. And there's a whole language actually you can learn. <laughs> yes. This says hotel in uh, whatever this world is. In languages. Yeah, that's about right. <laughs> you know, I know it would get grating after a while, but there's a part of me that one that has this idea of like every time Kirby has this on, you just hear like a perpetually long scream coming out of his mouth all the time. I mean, if it, I mean, if it was in Kirby's voice, it'd be fine. The, the Kirby scream that I heard. Don't ever ask me to do that. I will actually run out of breath. It, it, depending, do not ask Ow. me. Well, I wasn't asking you. We gotta make Sam laugh. You know, in retrospect, kind of this opportunity that they didn't have unique, uh, unique like uh, what's high the word? High five animations. Uh, high five animations, depending on the mouthful. Like he just shoves the fucking banana, banana in his in that big oh, gaping no. maw of his. Oh yeah, come in. I'm a constant ever ending suffering. Would you want to see this version of Kirby kiss Bandana D? To be fair, would that even count as a kiss? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> He'll fucking try. I guarantee. I, I, I don't. I don't think. I don't think it would. I don't think it would work for a, a public broadcasting audience. I guarantee. So, He'll try. So Iki, I don't like where this is going already. <laughs> I don't like where. This is going. A secret island. Land ho. Whoa! Kirby, where are you going? Don't be stranded here, you piece of shit! Sorry, this is your home now, Waddle Dee. Okay, 
I made it. Oh. Oh. I'm sure I'll learn their names later. Gators Daily is not gonna like this. You killed the I know, Arcade. right? This is a cute little idea, though. Look at us go on our grand journey, yeah. I rock. I'm trying to think now. Are we missing anything? Yes, you are. There's a coconut in the water to your right. To the right? Yep. You have to use the boat. Oh, I see it. There it is. Yo ho, the Kirby men come. Uh, to fill our, <laughs> I, our dinners with Kirby tea and mud. Don't to give me that. It's a tea sugar and, rum. and tea and rum. Rum? One, One day, day when, when the, the tongue in is. Done, we don't want to talk about that. I want to see what's to the left. No! There's nothing there. Nothing of importance. All right, fine. Real dance. quick, since you brought since you brought that song logo, was it you that had the idea of like a Willerman cover but between the Mario's and Wario's? Yes, oh. because we, yes, cause, because we decided we, we we had learned and figured out that between all of them, like you would actually have a ooh cool lore movie. time. The Alival Mall sign. This is the logo for Alival Mall, owned by Alival Holding Company. Making life even livelier was their corporate slogan. They ran a wide range of businesses, entertainment, arenas, food shops, service industries, la <laughs> lavatories. Now the remains of those businesses can be found in all kinds of places, empty and alone. Oh, oh so Wally, again, essentially. Again, you can't actually translate it all. And oh, there's oh, more. Uh, hold on. There's more? The car shop sign. This logo belonged to an auto shop called, named uh, Whole Line C Custom Autos, part of the Whole Line Corporation. Whole Line also sold industrial parts, managed construction, and made all kinds of stuff. Yep. From businesses to streets to amusement park rides. Remember, if it's quality, it's Whole Line. Or perhaps it was, would be more accurate. Oh. Damn, that's how you put some dark lore in This really is becoming Wally. Remember, this is a Kirby game where the post apocalypse is just a set dressing for, for you know, typical Kirby fare. For fun playground activities. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Kirby. <laughs> Get going. Oh, Waddle Dee saved. Goodbye. Don't act like Kirby and Wally wouldn't be besties. They would. Of course they're besties. Kirby would probably try and eat They've her. hung out all the time. Icky. <laughs> <laughs> I like how Logan had to stop himself the second Icky brought them up. <laughs> I, like like the how, I like how disappointed <laughs> Logan sounded just <laughs> You know it to be true. Well, see, because like we remember from we remember from things like back in uh, go for it. We remember from things like even back with a uh, Rainbow Curse, like Kirby and Bandana D are the closest of pals. They hang out, they eat apples sometimes, mostly Kirby, but then they just like, like I I'm sure they've hung out plenty of times. Yeah, but this is a robot we're talking about. It's funny because Bandana Waddle D initially started off as just a gr uh, like a more uh, defined grunt for King DDD, and then and they didn't even have a spear. Right. I, I mean. Then, after, I guess to some degree, Return to Dreamland, and then... I'd say Rainbow's Curse was pretty much the de facto, like, the, was the de facto proof that, you know, these two just became best friends after... They became besties after all was said and done. After Again, Revenge of the King. Again, it is still in my head canon that this was the bandan... That this was the Waddle Dee that helped them dis that helped them save all of Ripple Star and thus got a promotion from the big boss. I think that's canon. I mean, I'd like to believe that, even though... How oh! Really? really? Oh, <laughs> I hate when that happens. Ugh. Off by 66 one slide away. And the worst thing is, I have one of these uh, run times, like, save my Switch. Uh -huh. Like, the clear time was, like, 45 seconds to get, like, the par time or whatever. <laughs> I finished 45 seconds and one millisecond. Ouch. Damn! Yeah, that's about right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Master Belch. I agree. Now don't mind me as I drink my sorrows and slice some heads. I was like, that was time. Whoever did it, that was time perfectly with Kirby doing the. Hi, like, I'm going inside. <laughs> <laughs> like, are you say, Kirby? I, oh, I, 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 Kirby, I, I, you have fun now. I do apologize if my I do apologize in advance if burps become more frequent. Again, carbonated sodas. Do it again. Carbonated yeah. sodas. <laughs> And uh, for those who are curious about the other um, about the other upgrade variants of these uh, of these abilities, similar to how in Star Allies they would eventually like force you to learn certain mechanics with the uh, freaking heroes in another dimension, um, the these bonus um, these bonus rare stone. <laughs> That's my wife. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Will eventually be uh, themed around the upgraded well, versions of these uh, copy abilities. You can learn all the neat little mechanics they bring, but you will have had to have upgraded and purchased them prior to entering. 
Again, you can learn some of the more advanced techniques by talking to the Waddle Dee in the blacksmith shop. That's good. Which is kind of cool and all, but you know, past Kirby games have already done a good enough job of that by just putting it in the pause menu. Yeah. Yeah. But then again, this game is all about, like, you know, discovery is like a overarching theme. I mean, oh yeah. No, so, definitely. yeah. It's primarily made for you to discover how to do things, you know, when all you have is a sword. Which I guess is fair and all, but again, I just think with, when it comes to the copy abilities, that's one of those things where it was already fine before. Why change that now? Well, I mean, it's, because, it's probably because of how the abilities in this game are kind of simpler in function. It's like you get a sword, you swing the sword. You, you got right. fire, you spit fire. It is simpler, yes, but I also yeah. do appreciate that they still have, like, some of these abilities do still have, like, their, you know, subtle uses. Like, like with Kurt, like with Sword, for example, as you saw a few times, I literally did a little, that, the typical sliding maneuver, and that then I could follow it up with an uppercut. By the way, it might not be a HAL room, but there is a secret room that I'd like to show you guys on the stage. Oh, All sure right. thing. Well, for now, we gotta go through and fight the Sammy the Silly Sid! Boop, 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 boop. He's called Balloon Meister, thank you. His name is Balloon Meister? Yeah. But he oh. launches out bombs. Yeah, made of balloons. <laughs> I'm always going to get confused as Balloon by people Meister. who say my name and they're not addressing no crash. I'm always going to get confused. Oh, uh, no, there, there is. Crashes there is. in this game, yeah. Oh. I just... Not the Bandicoot, though. It, oh. 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 We are essentially playing a Crash Bandicoot game of a different skin. No, you're not, because you're not going through hallways. I was, I was this watching This is still pretty hallways-esque, to be completely fair. You don't have to break a count of boxes to get a pretty old rock. Wait. Go pretty blammo! Rock. Ooh. I wanna do that! But it's a very and, pretty rock. And with upgrades, that's it somehow is. gonna become even more potent. But by getting all the uh, star pieces, I mean the, the star pieces... Star chips. Get, star chips. We got ourselves a waddle D. And no waddle doos there in this game, they all died. Tragic. They're too freakish to be saved. Nice, look at that juggler. He was going to be stuck underwater for life if you didn't save him. That oh, would gosh, actually be right. pretty graphic. Oh, hey! The introduction... Uh, introduction, introduction? Introduction to a brand new copy ability. Yep. Uh, Drill. Drill Kirby. Mr. Drilla. Which is essentially just... A, just Let's take New Super Lucky's Tale and apply it as a copy ability. Mm-hmm. The only difference is that, like, you cannot stay underground as long as you can in New Super Lucky's Tale. At least for this ability, uh, this version of the ability, because it does get upgrades. Well, I think, like, regardless of how you upgrade, you, you're still only underground for a limited time. Okay, hold up. You see that whirlpool back there? Uh, which one? Uh, which the one, one to your left. The one that's over a grate? Mm-hmm. Hop into it. Um, uh, because I guess because it's leading to a grate, it's like, oh, this one needs somewhere secret and... Ow. I figured this out my first time. Well, yeah. Ah, uh, they became a cult. A cult. Hey, you like Frogger? We're getting a couple laughs with Conehead. I see. You have to. You have to. You have to survive do, do, with do, 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 do. mouthful mode. There you go. He but, got some uh, goodies. And I will Whee! say, I I like that with mouthful mode, they allow you to uh, not sacrifice your copy ability to continue forward. Same. Nice. Sorry, you're saying it's convenient. Same. Sorry, you what? can't take the comb with you. Nope. Oh, fine. You must shame that comb. Just, yeah, no, as uh, someone who played an awful lot of uh, Super Lucky's Tale before this game, uh, Drill gave me some pretty bad muscle memory issues here and there. Hmm. Especially when it comes to using it and using it in, in, using it while in midair. Because it's not instantaneous. Like, you, you, you sort of flow for a little bit before you dive straight to the ground. Right. Yeah. It's like a drill forward a little bit. Ooh, say hi to the bird. I did. Oh, did we skip a bird? No. I don't, don't think we did. Just also, I love, I, also, I love whenever you're in the water, it's like... It's like you're pecking down. It's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like I'm one of those uh, water-dipping ducks from the olden times. Oh yeah, the water-drinking, oh, yeah, right. the water-drinking bird. The one that Megamind had an existential conversation with. Oh, uh, another thing regarding uh, Drill. You can also oh. parallel with it. Yep. And it can, uh, hold up there, Jethro. Oh, there, Jethro. Nice! And, and I will say that the, uh, his dive can last a lot longer than a Lucky's could. Uh, well, no, well, Lucky could dive un underground in oh indefinitely. Boy. Time to see if they fix this. Ah. Nope. No, they Yay! didn't! Yay! <laughs> Texture he looks, a, he looks a little hurt, poor <laughs> 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 
I remember in the test you did of it, it looked like he had holes in him. <laughs> I was gonna say, he looks like stretch marks. Unfortunate stretch marks. Jeez. This is a very painful mouthful. So yeah, that, that will happen occasionally with some of these mouthful modes, and it's just something that's unfortunately inherent with Yuzu. Just, but it's not like there's like some elaborate body tattoo you have to worry about. Just imagine it's all the same shade of pink, and that's the experience you're missing. That's it. I don't now know I know I what you're thinking. Before. You see that platform in the distance? You know, yes. the, with the star on it? Don't yeah, the jump there. is there. But yeah, do say a, hello to that burp. There is another there is another little secret we can come up Do across. go say hi to that burp before you go. Which burp? The one that just passed. Burp, burp. Yeah, burp. say hello to burp. Oh, that burp. Hi, that burp. 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 Fuck that burp. burp. I feel like hey. I'm, I, I'm pretty sure we're missing a burp. Uh, that's why I was asking Maybe earlier. Maybe it's the beginning of the stage if you want to like spread out a scrambibble back there. Oh look. I had to replay the stage for the first time because I didn't think of going back here. <laughs> yeah, me neither. Me neither. I, I didn't really think of this here. I honestly god didn't think of that little like dip Jesus. in the fencing to be like, oh, you can actually go this way now. <laughs> my speed. This is my Enjoying speed yourself here. there? Yes. We'll be fine, let's go. Okay. Oh, right. <laughs> Goodbye, I to physically grab onto it. The drill hat lives there now. All right, go look for that burb. Yeah. Is it really that we'll uh, <laughs> great? At the very least, this whole section's really not that long. Yeah. I mean, as is the case with Curb. Uh, it, most, just... most of the time spent on, in this level is mostly for mostly collecting stuff. Yep. Easy does it. Not that way. Not that way. Uh, I will say, uh, Icky, what have you been up to playing recently? Since it's been just a little while since our last session. Um, I've been playing. I yeah, I've been playing Spoon Three. Me oh, too. that is true. Uh, d that Splatfest was uh, quite an interesting one. It was a mess. You people were fools. You thought of only fun and what yes, fun because and it food. turns out the ju so straight up. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you when right you now. didn't when you didn't consider thinking. How are we going to get the food or the fun? Okay, well that's the thing, and I, I believe the problem was the translation that we got in in English made it seem like it was a life or death survival scenario. Which, and it was. Oh, there you are. No, well, no, that no, that's the best part. It wasn't in Japan it wasn't. and everywhere else. In Japan, the the translation that they're all the conversation they were having was more like, "Hey, what if we all went on a camping trip to a desert island?" Like we weren't sure. Okay, well, I took it seriously. So we were just like, I, "No, I'm." I'm not, I'm not faulting you. I'm saying the localizers <laughs> just they they fucked up. And straight no, they up, they didn't. <laughs> yes, they did. And no. straight up, I, this one top comment I saw absolutely summed it up. The best way that they could have phrased that question to actually make it you know more fair because for context that we're talking about the first Splatoon three Splatfest in which uh, in a three people got time, angry. No, not not that not even that part. Which that that's its own can of worms. Correction, you guys got angry. It's more so a matter that it's it's one of those situations where as they worded it. There was absolutely no other correct answer than gear. I raised my shovel high. And 58% of the people in what was supposed to be a three-way tie all chose it, which, again, doesn't mean they're wrong. It just means that this was... We talked about this in Telltale, stuff like that. The best questions are ones where it can be as almost as even a split as you can make it, but this was clearly not that question. <laughs> this, is a, this, a, this, is with, this would make a very poor game to split the room. Which, in which case, uh, somebody pointed out, Icky, the best way they could have done that to make it look at least a little bit more evenly split down the middle was if instead the question if instead the question was was phrased like this, Icky. All right, between gear, grub, and fun, let's say that all of us in this call right now are going on a camping trip. Not even you on got... island, just just a camping trip. What do you want to be responsible for? All you guys are just. Are going... <laughs> Go ahead. You guys are so bitter that you're team. I'm not was, bitter. But I such a large I, I, no. I, I, first of all, first of all, I was team fun, and I don't mind getting the fact that pro. Trust me. Because I have you had fun. Own, trust me. I, I have my own. I'm just trying to how, uh, open. <laughs> Can I just oh, oh, say oh. I feel so bad for anyone that picked grub, or no, I guess <laughs> no one that picked grub because literally not... no one wanted to pick grub. Poor Fry has had it so bad for the first two splash fests. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? What are you doing, my friend? <laughs> oh. Why did I get flattened? <laughs> That's a good question. I, the physics of this does not make anyway. We freed him. Maybe, maybe it's just the the, for, the force of you literally. I mean, we were going pretty damn fast. Yeah, I know. Also, <laughs> like, think, think of the kind of like, how, like if, you, if, if in the Wii version of Sonic Unleashed, you boost right into a wall. Sonic just slams right into it. No questions asked. I mean. Yeah. 
Waddle Dee. I'm pretty sure Waddle Dee doesn't have bones. Kirby doesn't have bones. No, we don't. Also, we dig up a Maxim tomato. Hooray! Oh! It's Maxim tomato. I, I double checked. Did you get everything? Yes, he did. I think so. Yeah, we did. Yep, that's everything. Okay. Woo! But, uh, no. It, I, I'm not. I'm not bitter about losing. I'm bitter about the balance of the situation because uh, trust me i even had this conversation with james and everyone about the how the open and pro system works about how like fun fact during a splat fist if you're gonna be going into it solo queue yay oh, hey there hey, who's that handsome devil and then a waddle d was pulled through the vortex along with kirby against his will when he heard that his fellow waddle d's were being captured by the beast pack he said eh. <laughs> he grabbed his trusty spear and ran to help. He Looks like it's just another Tuesday for me. <laughs> While you explore the new world. Yay! And the other one, the other big premium one we got was Flame Kirby. Fire! 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 And Blast... Yeah, fair enough. You get that, Jurel. Another hot, one... Hot, hot. No, that's oh, a who cannon. Can who can forget shots, So, Which, fun fact, uh, those standy thingies that it's using are its legs. Oh, I didn't know it was a sentient living being. It is! I mean, in Smash Run, it uses them as feet to turn around. It's like the only time they ever do that, though. Every other time, they're perfectly positioned to. They're perfectly, like. They've wedged their, their legs straight into the ground, as it's, it's right. like actual cannons. But yeah, that was all. Only Sakurai okay. would be crazy enough to think that they can actually, they actually can move them around, like. Move those things around like legs. Oh. Alright, take five, Waddle D. Yeah, okay. Just give me a moment to talk and say that, yes. It was the fact that, fun fact, if you're trying to go into a solo queue in Splatfest, genuinely you'll actually have a better time if you pick Splatfest Pro. Because, um, Icky, let's say you are going to play by yourself and you decide to pick Splatfest Open. Well, what will happen is, the only difference balancing-wise, there is, is no you can't play with your friends. Exactly. Correct. Everything other than, otherwise the same logic for matchmaking and you know team and level of difficulty all that's the exact same. So if you go into open just by yourself, you'll be paired with maybe you know two or three randos, but you may be being te you may be set up to play against an opposing team of like three to four people who are all on a Discord call like we are who can like you know matchmake and like coordinate on a level you you and your team just can't do. But if you're in pro. You'll be you'll be on a team with a bunch of randos, and the enemy will be on a team with a bunch of randos. So that sounds like that simple thing to think do. <laughs> well, yeah, because now everyone's on equal on equal terms, and you have and it doesn't feel as like Matt and James and I. We didn't record it because you know we already did that bit. But this recent Splatfest, we had some some matches that just were basically curb stops, like not and not of us to curb stop. It was them like just basically spawn camping and bottlenecking the stage to a point where we just could not oh you know get. Them. Which is funny because I played completely on my own. Yeah, I did. I wasn't in a Discord call. I wasn't coordinating with anybody. I was just doing my thing. I know. I'm saying that if I, I'm saying that for myself and for anybody who may have had any difficulty in the Splatfest, try Pro out. Even though it sounds like that would be the anarchy, you know, ranked battle, even harder mode, it may actually be easier. Hence why Fun actually may have taken down Pro a bit. And whew, that one requires a lot of paralooping. No mm -hmm. kidding. Not gonna miss words as far as like new, the new copy of releases are concerned. This is probably the weaker of the uh, two. Yeah, yeah, it makes sense. It's a lot more niche. I think the only other thing I'll say regarding the the Splatoon stuff that's been going on is like there there were two things that were definitely made apparent. That whole thing Logan was just talking about was one of them. The other thing is that people now have a massive hate for buckets. <laughs> what? The actual hell. I'm pretty sure it's something to do with Homestuck, and no, I don't care. What? Well, I know, I mean, like, aren't... I'm trying to... I think it's a weapon, I don't know. Isn't there, like, something in Splatoon about... Oh, the, like, uh, the Slosher. The Slosher. And there's also its variant, the Tri-Slosher, which trades in, uh, like, range. For you know, like, long range for, like, wide range. And then there's the Explo... Then there's the Explosure. Which basically fires a cannonball at your enemies. Yep. Uh, also it's weird though because it, like, even with a direct hit, it doesn't do that much damage. Yeah, no, it's, it's you really have to good hit the opponent run, twice basically. It's very good in Salmon Run though, but yeah, no, the thing I was just saying, what the? Heck? Oh, for Salmon Run, it's a godsend. Is uh, the thing I just learned was uh, who here has been to Walt Disney World? Um, I have years Which ago. One? 
the, 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 yes, the one quite of a lot. Okay. okay. Um, I've been there when I was like five years old, and I was upset because I couldn't go on the really windy, like, huge pirate water slide at Epcot because oh. it, you had to be like six years old to go on it. Hmm. I remember water slide at Epcot, but fair enough. Um, so, but th- so I say that because, uh, oh hey, look at this. Hmm. Hey, look at that. Is uh, in Epcot. Oh, Ooh, nice. The clutter needle. Ooh. Yep, these are what we want to keep an eye out for to unlock new copy abilities. Um, but uh, one of the uh, no fear. Uh, one of the uh, <laughs> things that I found was. Um, I don't think we're missing anything by this point, are we? Yeah, I think we're okay. Well, you already got the poster. Basically, a new Disney film is in the work, and Seth Rogen is heading it, the same as he was trying oh. to head that Darkwing Duck reboot. Darkwing. Whatever uh, happened to that, actually? I think oh, it no. still worked. Oh, by the way, I'd... get ice. Oh yeah, we want ice for this uh, for this bonus power. And we got a freezer. Oh yeah, the the, the one new mini boss of the lot of them, Florina. All right. Would you guys be surprised to know that there are only four mini boss types in this game? Yeah, no, it's. I think it's like the smallest pool of mini bosses throughout the whole series. Yep. Uh, Wild Edge, Bonkers, uh, Mr. Frosty, and Florina. And this is the only new one of a lot of them. Yeah, Only three of them power. being animal-based. Oh, jeez. I don't know. Maybe Gigantage could be a bear. I don't know. Anyways, continue. I, um, I was just saying that, like, unless you have the right tool on your disposal, uh, this one, in my opinion, is one of the more annoying ones to fight. Only if there it is. she ends up, like, double-teaming you with another mini boss. That, that was the only reason why I wasn't helping was because we were waiting for that. Now we'll clear stuff. Um, but yes, so what it was is, um... Pegger! Now you see why I turned auto swallow off. Uh, it's yes. pronounced pogger. I thought it was pronounced bunger. So, bunger. Down, bunger, down! Everyone, uh, play Katamari, but you were a tornado. Well, here you yes. go. I love it. That, and that's not so clutter needle. Clutter needle is when you can start uh, playing Katamari. Yeah. Uh, what was it? Uh, basically, Seth Rogen is making a new. Uh, apparently, he is teaming up to make a new film. Written by Dan Hernandez and Benji Samet, the people who wrote for Detective Pikachu. Um, yeah. And it's going to be a That's movie. It's going to be a movie. Thank you. Nice. <laughs> it's going to be a movie. You and I share the exact same brain cell at that point in time. Of course, like, wait a minute. It's going to be a whole movie about Figment. Figment? Oh, the, the, the little purple dragon from the Disney parks. Yeah, from the Imagination uh, oh. place thingy in Epcot. Honestly, God, I thought that little grating in that water area was supposed to be spikes, but no. Oh, yes, silly Billy. You don't have to Those are that. spikes. Okay, okay, this is all you. Leave it. Leave this to me. Leave it to uh-huh. Beaver. <laughs> Jeez, why just spook me? Yeah, that's basically showing that uh, your uh, tornado is kind of limited, but for everything you hit, you actually extend the timer a bit. As I think you mentioned, you... uh, there's two. There's two ways you can you can there move you around go. with it. There we go. Uh, there's two ways you can maneuver around with it, actually. You can just immediately just press the button, and you can go straight into, a, like, that elongated uh, the spin. Or you can hold down the button and let go to a stop it. Oh. I just bounce off the ball. But yeah, yeah just going back to, like, that is odd that they're making a movie about Figment. Although mm. I will say, there's a part of me that doesn't feel like the Seth Rogen lean of film is as big a threat as you think it is. Because I think he's also going to be producing uh, the upcoming anime and Ninja Turtles film. And from what I've seen of it, it looks pretty interesting so far. Well, that could be fair. You know, I just realized, but, whenever I use my... Whenever I... Oh, she's even here too. Oh, God. Go ahead, Sammy. Then, he, then again, he's the same person who made Sausage Party. Think about well, that. that does have its fans, just not for reasons we think it needs. I thought it could have done good if they went whole hog on that idea for uh, making Sony Pictures Entertainment the villain of the sequel. Because they Is almost there a set it up. Sausage Party? No, nope. there will never be a sequel to. to there will never be a, a, a sequel to a Sausage Party. But but okay. if that sequel was made, the ending of Sausage Party made it seem like they were very much going to, uh... Right. They were definitely Absolutely going to... destroy the people in charge of Sony Animation. That's what it seemed like, where basically they're going to be like, oh, we have to go and defeat the voice actors who actually make this movie. And I would have loved if they actually then started to do real things like call out Sony for all the shit they've done in the past. Yeah, you know, that would have been actually pretty funny. Oh. oh. Go ahead. That would have been pretty funny. They, they also gave that. a I... whole new meaning to uh, food porn. I 
they all want to talk about it. <laughs> I never want to talk about what I see ever again. Moving on. Right side. <laughs> it's right, all I go. know. It, it was a it's very. It's a secret. It's a very, very. Weird One that I accidentally thing. missed on my first run. Likewise. Same. Same. It, it blended in so well. I was, I was so, I was so enamored in these cool little gliding <laughs> well, controls. The NBA dealers just enjoyed the ride. Yeah. The, uh, technically, I'm sitting in such a way where Kirby should not be able to see where he's going. Though I think this is like the first occasion <laughs> where your... we, where we're introduced to that blue star right there. It's like oh. turn left and stop. <laughs> That's exactly so basically, if you end up missing a secret during those linear sections, Whoa. you can retry them if you need. No. But well, we got everything we need, so we're good. Yeah. Which is very appreciated. Oh, and the last one, a poster. Who keeps Yay. putting these up? I think the only thing um, you have to keep into account is that if you do restart the course, it will reset your progress to before you start it. Yes. It's like going back in time or something. So you will, well, the fact that you will miss, if you collected a Waddle D, you need to recollect that Waddle D. Is what he's saying. And hooray! All nine collected. Or ten. Ten of them collected. Ten yeah. of them. Uh, uh, uh. Seven. Da -da -da. The new board. That's a long bar. board, though. Yeah, I don't think I don't think regular Gordos appear in this anymore. They do. No, they do. We we've been seeing them. In fact, you pass by some of them during the flight. Oh, doy. Okay, I thought they did that thing. We're like, okay, well, we're in three D now. The Gordos, you gotta put on some weight. You silly man. I forgot if Gordo bars were were even a thing prior to this game or not. I, I think they think were. They were. The, I I feel like they might have been in one of the three DS games. Because I definitely remember some having to deal with like a very elongated spike trap when de dealing with uh, Krako. Yeah. Well, no, that was him extending his horns into long spike things. Hmm. I guess there's that, then. Well, time to learn how to use your tornado while I Boop. go take a pee break. All right. <laughs> I got to take a wee. What do I just kind of watch him get on my phone and see if I can get this app to work. So, um... Uh, beyond that, uh, we already. T oh, I forgot. I don't think I ever got to ask Icky your opinion. What, like, what did you think of Kirby Dream Buffet? Uh, depends on which iteration of Kirby Dream Buffet you're talking about. Are you talking about the game or the recently released animation? That was, that, that was an uh, as incredible as that oh, animation okay. was by freaking uh, Terminal, Terminal Montage. montage. Term Terminal Montage. As incredible as that was, no. What did you think of um, what the did game? you think of the game Dream Buffet? It was oh, fun shit. for about a week, and then it just kind of dropped off the face of the planet. I mean, that's just kind of that's just kind of the uh, the curse of uh, sh like short term Kirby games, like those that are made on the budget and you s you only pay like what ten or twenty bucks for. Like they're fun they're fun for the first week or so, and then after that, you pretty much you know pad your fill. Yeah. Well, there wasn't there isn't really much variety in terms of gameplay when it comes to Dream Buffet. I mean, considering the price point, though, I'd say it wasn't that bad. Like, there's still plenty of stuff to unlock as well. It's a mini game for sure, but I mean, I'd say it's still got more packed into it than most sub games in the Kirby games, the series. Yeah, it's fine. I, I ah. but I, but I do agree. I wish they were. I wish they could have added a few more maps and maybe add at least one or two different uh, finale events than just maybe saying, like you know, all four players take on a boss to gather strawberries nice. yeah, you know what? yeah that would actually be really cool is if they approach I mean the they way. have like the wispy woods stage but like you don't fight them no but but no you're right that you would could be beat them up for some strawberries but that's it but no that would be you're right that would be interesting if they had like a new setup where like if they went about it well, if they hey, went about it the same, if they went about the same way as City Trial or Air Ride, we have hey, all these different uh, types of finale events. Hey, wait a minute. I mean, that's kind of what I figured was, was going on with Dream Buffet. Like it was pretty much a slightly condensed City City Trial sort of thing. Yeah. Yeah, a City Trial esque mode would have been appreciated. Well, actually, no. Does the game technically count? Like they could easily just make a seat like a whole Kirby sequel that is just City Trial, and that just fly off the shelves. Okay, you know what the game could have gone with a checkpoint, hmm. well, a checkmark system, like in uh, Kirby Air Ride. I guess. Just to give you incentive on trying to play the game differently every now and then. Basically, all we're saying is Nintendo just put Air Ride on the Switch. Hey. Or you, so you know, just, just right give us more Switch. checks to mark. Yeah. At, at the very least, give us checks to mark that which which every check has something to give you instead of just all being fluff. No, I, I also appreciate some of the fluff ones. Uh, eh, I guess. It's also... Some of them. 
to be fair, you're also down to someone who thinks that the achievement system in most uh, game consoles is kind of superfluous. Mm. Oh, I was hoping you wouldn't notice this one. Okay, keep going. <laughs> now it's time to look silly again. Oh, this I one's wish. kind of a pain if you want to go for the, the uh, check time. No, I, 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 I'm, I'm saying, Sammy, when I see that, it looks like Amy Rose's boot. Yeah, everyone does. Like, to a point where everyone's making drawings of it. Like, uh, my friend Violet, did, she made this really funny drawing of her doing that to Batman. So that's why I've been seeing most of them on Twitter. Yeah. The thing I don't like is, because I know it's supposed to be him, like, grimacing in terms of, like, ah, I lost. But I can't help but look at this, and it's, it looks like he's smiling. He... Hmm. Oh it's god. Like, with the context of if it, it like with the context of the fact that people are drawing Amy, that is wrong on so many fucking levels. She's twelve. Well I'm sure that's not well I'm sure people are like taking it I feel like the fact that Wonder Woman's boot looks like Amy's is the thing that's getting people's attention more than Batman smiling. There you go. There's a little bit of a there's a little bit of a puzzle to this one of knowing not only how to orient, but also knowing that you spit it out in the direction you're facing. And you, can, you unfortunately cannot spit it in place. You need to put it ahead of you at all possible. Done! That being said, though, looking at that cover, I oh do boy. demand that... Uh, that being said, looking at, at that cover, I do demand that Amy Rose should indeed be a guest character in Injustice 3. This has, this has to go up top. This has I'd to go rather, in upper I'd left rather corner. not, you know, I wonder what Kevlar's reaction would be. He'd hate it. <laughs> oh, I see, so just move this over to the right. There you go. And pick it's up like that a stairs. puzzle or something. I know, but this time... Actually, this... hold on a minute. No, you're on the right track. Oh, but I yeah, see you. Yeah, because you I need to put, put, put this in place as well. Oh, smart thinking. If only I could take you out from here, you piece of shit, you. I'll deal <laughs> with you later. Kirby! I'll deal with you later. <laughs> oh, Chum. What you won't now? you slap next? Okay, no, that was the right one. That's so weird, actually. There you go. And then I see, and then you just gotta move the left one to there, the right one to there, and we're done. Oh, Kirby, what, what I would kill kill for a, for a run button right around here. Yeah, do note that when it comes to these uh, mouthful mode uh, bonus stages, I like to, I, I, I want to say these are some of the trickiest ones. I'd even take freaky... You know, do somersault spin dash shit like in Mario Odyssey. Yeah, but there Actually, we go. Kirby would make too much sense considering he's literally the shape of a ball. Got right. Here. He had one. You did it. Boy, boy, did I have fun watching you. Boyo. <laughs> yeah, just. Oh boy. boy well, at least I still won. You, you did, did win. win. We'll get those power ups soon. But I won't cross. There's plenty oh. of game to still. There's, of course, there's plenty of game to still explore, but for now, we got one last story stage. Yay. Yay. And that oh, is... Well, yeah, yeah over here. One. This is the one that we gotta be careful because for an entire area, completely unannounced, by the way, for an entire area, we need to not touch the water. Right. I know exactly which one it is, so I'll let you know beforehand. It's the... It's, I know it involves a loop rush. Yeah, and I made the doofy mistake of just dropping down because I didn't want to be able to collect them in here. And I, and I believe it Not realizing that there are goodies to collect, you know, if you want them. I, again, I mean, as we're going through this, I mean, I, I like how they, I like how they, uh, I, I, I do like what they did with the, uh, with the 3D level design. By the way, go south of here, into that little yeah. beach. Oh, oh there's, there's beach. another sand yeah, sculpture. Right and a crate. A great oh. crate. Great! Great! Great. This beach. I'll grab my stuff. Nope, just a shell. Nothing! Alright, let's go. <laughs> Fight the current! I thought there was a sand sculpture there. Am I well, there was. A different level? Hmm. No, there Maybe. was a sand sculpture there. Really? I thought it was yeah, a Yeah, I pointed it out and you guys just ignored it. Oh, oh shoot. Oopsie. Alright. I mean, I was looking down at the beach, but I didn't see the sculpture. Ah! Yeah, yeah. Maybe my man. eyeballs are broken. Yeah, basically, today. like in that when you were at the like the the southern west corner that you guys were hugging for a bit, it was just a Don't little go into ahead that of door it. Yet. You have the secret. I know. The main collectible at this stage: fish, sardines, anchovies. What? 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 <laughs> I don't know Actually, I, I, want the, like... I want that to now be vocal stretched now. Okay, here's where we got enough onto the Remember water. Remember when no, there no, was no. a chest? This, this part of the room, you can fall into the water. 
It's just the it's just the mook rush area you can't fall into. Yeah. Okay. Right. Remember there was a whole episode of Futurama where the whole choice was that you could either save the sardines as a race or just uh, keep or keep Is the whole keeps the timing. Exactly. Well, no, he wouldn't save the race. He was just. Okay, here we are. This is the one. He could sell it for like a cheap like snake oil salesman stuff for Mom Corporation. Ah. Uh, so there, there was really so there was no um what's the word. This is awkward. Maybe yeah, you I should think... just suck him up. Yeah. Oh. I don't. Th I want to say. Actually, no, I think it does count both uh, Waddle Dee and Kirby. So we <clears> need <throat> to make sure we neither of us touch the uh, water. Yep. Just. Uh... It's, it's not. It's not. A, it's unlike. Not unlike the boss fights where you, Waddle Dee can take all the brunt of the. Oh! 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 Fish and Redo. nailed. What are we doing? <laughs> really? Well, it's early enough, and plus you can get that sand sculpture you missed. Okay, fine. Okay, we're gonna sprint back in there. It wasn't too far away. We go. We'll just speed run this, which means we can actually just do this. Oh, see that right there. Garlic. Well, he was at. I think I got it. Uh, is that isn't that is that a whole mission or no? I don't know. The sand sculpture. Oh no, it's not a mission. Well then, uh, okay, well, we, then we why, shall proceed. Why were you all making such a... The artistry throw, the, the artistry throw, James. It's because it's just there. Do you know how, how hard it is to make a snow... Do you know how hard it is to make a sand sculpture? But it's paws? so shoddily made! Well, hey, hey, hey. Sand is not as, you know... Sand is not as adhesive of a form to make sculptures out of compared to, like, snow. It's the fact that you can... It's irritating and it gets everywhere. The fact yeah. that you can make sculptures out of sand is impressive in and of itself, even if it's not that well made. Okay. So, uh, the thing I was going to say was um, about the anchovies. Was like, I want that to now be the next big. Uh, I want that to be the next big uh, vocal, um, like vocal stretch thing. Is is like a lot. Actually, what I was thinking for some reason is just like a just a YouTube poop ad where it's like it doesn't even get to the scream right away. It's like anchovies. What? what? Anchovies. Anchovies. What? Anchovies. There you go. Yay! Oh, you Look got what scroll. I found. I found the menu to app. Where the oh, heck boy. Yeah, chain bombs? Please. I want to get a pancake and another pancake and a bacon's. <laughs> oh, you gotta press A, James. I did won't let me. I, don't like I was actually gonna th pause that. Say, wait, it's the secret ingredient to the the bloomin' onion. The bloom. Is it an onion? You would think, but <laughs> ne <laughs> you Shocking would think that. Yes. There it is. There's the bell. Okay. No, the other thing I was thinking of was I acquired it. And I acquired it just to freaking please Jordy. Like again, the freaking I acquired like Kirby. I have finally discovered one sixtieth of the cheesecake factory menu. Well, what was if that? We find all of them. We can finally attain ultimate anything. <laughs> all I'm saying what? is like all I'm saying is a cheesecake factory. Just m maybe limit your items. M maybe maybe keep. Maybe keep 30 of them, and maybe you'll have a good enough, you know, structure. I've never okay. eaten at that place before. Mostly just because oh, I don't think there are any cheesecake factories near me. Let's okay, so. Middle, okay, that last. Makes sense. Yeah. middle, Have you ever left, looked at the calorie count? Right, left, up? middle. Right, left, middle. Well, yeah, what was that, Vicky? Have you ever looked at the calorie count whenever you go there? Nope. No, I don't. I don't want to hate myself that much. <laughs> Only a little bit. Only much. enough to know that I'm eating there. Not enough to really drive it home. As Logan, what are you doing today? Logan, well, how would you? My dietary how... life. You can't fit. <laughs> Maybe if you sidle in there, but <laughs> no, it's I'm too tall. <laughs> I'm just like Logan. How would you like to eat enough? How would you like to eat in one sitting enough food to reasonably go without eating for the rest of the week and still put on weight? Well, I'd say. Bugger off. Stay in your own lane and... Oh yeah, wait, no, hold on. We can cheat this entire puzzle. Well, what do you know? <laughs> but can you cheat the one up ahead? Let's find out. I want to say we can. There are certain times where a co-op can definitely break a few puzzles. <gasps> hang on, hang on, hang on. Back up, back up. I found the secret. Oh, hang on. 
He's too busy making frozen the shiny sushi. fish. Oh, that's oh right. yeah, that's right. That's its own. You save the waddle dee by literally alerting, by literally scaring the golden fish. The gold and that's fish. The password. I think this is as far as we go. All right, we can't use this yet. We have to yeah, wait for the solve bridge. the puzzle by doing this. But go over here, and we can solve this puzzle. No, we have to stick the stands up stairs on her. Or you can do that. <laughs> Isn't there another one back there? Now, nah, hold yeah. on. Oh. I said, hold on. Oh, okay. they actually. Oh. Oh, yeah, because I so guess long as I'm back a here. Safe to make so long sure as I'm back yeah. be stuck there forever. <laughs> that, would be, that would be funny, actually. <laughs> Thank wow. you for saving me. And deep, deep. you saved me. Oh, well, we're not done yet. Oh, hell, we are. I'm going in that fire. No, don't! Oh, don't be a hero, Kirby. You're allergic to fire. Fine, do the thing. I'm allergic to pain, especially in the face. Sardines. Anyone here even like sardines? No. Nope. No. But Nikki, you're, you're from New York. Aren't sardines good on pizzas? That's a stereotype that Futurama came up with in the year 2000. No. That's oh, a stereotype. Okay. Oh, <laughs> that is one of the few sins that Futurama has committed. Well, that right, and well, some of the Comedy Central episodes, but you know. Yeah, they could have been better before that arc. But uh, I do remember. I do remember. Oh, it's for that. It's for this. For this. Would you already take well, care? Well, now you know how to properly do this puzzle. Right. Body da. Yeah, that's the other thing. I, but, but I will. I do remember no, when wait, Vinny. No. I want banana my shoes! Congratulations, oh, Kirby. You just sent a child flying at the wall at mock speed. How do you feel about yourself? You don't know if that guy's a kid. Uh, that's true. How do I even know he's a kid? He might be 38 years old. I mean, his name is Poppy Brothers Jr. Oh, yeah. right. Just, Poppy Brothers just because he's a junior big. doesn't mean he's a child. Like, the look at the It baby, could be a junior, senior, the... sophomore, Patty. Do you ever stop and think of how old Donkey Kong Jr. has to be by this point? No. Do people even remember Donkey Kong Jr. anymore? Yeah, Donkey Kong Jr. is Donkey Kong. We've been over this. No. Oh, wait. Yeah, he no, he's, no, he's not. Donkey Kong Jr. is Donkey no, Kong. No, but Cranky Kong's but... the original Donkey Kong. That was what Rare wanted. Nintendo has basically up and abandoned that. Alright. Okay, so what's Donkey Kong Jr.? Nothing. He's literally just a... He's literally retcon. No, he's a Mario Kart tour rep. They don't want to remember the time when they gave Mario a whip and told him to use Exactly. It. They don't want to remember the time when Mario was actually more than just a goody two-shoed uh, Italian. Right, like, and was the wait, actual bad guy of the game. Wasn't the canon that, like, you know, Donkey Kong Jr. was, like, the father to the current Donkey Kong? And that Cranky was the grandfather? I think that's what's that's what's implied hey, nowadays, with that. but otherwise, I don't know. No worries, I... Yeah, it is around the time when he's gonna, he's gonna have to leave for church soon. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta text. But we're almost done. Straight up, all we got is a boss up ahead, and we're already clear to leave this area. So let's do it. You're all free now. And then all we got is just some cleanup in town, and we're good to go. Whee! So if we're dealing with big ol' ammo enemy. <laughs> <laughs> what took you so long? Which one of you said that? I want to know. Was it you? Which one of you flatfoot said something bad about Kerbo? Which one of you motherfuckers said that to my fucking face? Was that you, String Bean? You skinny, you skinny ass, ass looking motherfucker! You skinny ass looking ass motherfucker! Turn around and say it again! Turn around and say it again! God, I, well, I'm so glad I know other people who know that freaking bit now. It's I love funny because I actually said suck my presidential cock bitch in one of the videos and nobody got it. Everybody was questioning what? me. They're like, wait, wait, what? It's President Lincoln. That's how he died. Suck my presidential cock bitch. That's how he died. He got hammered in the ass. He <laughs> get hammered in the ass. Do, do, do. But no, it's just, it's so great. Anyway, it's time for an old classic. Go home. So the first boss was a big monkey? And the enemies are all aminals, so what should the second boss be if the monkey is no longer at the beach? The second boss is what happens when Hal has cold feet. Will it be a kangaroo? I was, I was about to I was about to make the joke of where Ricky is the mo where where do you think the monkey came from? Oh. The tree. Oh, <laughs> I don't oh know why I got made myself. That's where he came from. Simon. Okay. Anyway, again, again, oh, dragon fire is good for. Uh, no, it's volcano again. fire. Volcano fire is good for setting 
long range fire attacks. But those big old enough. rocks. Those are long and no worries. Oh my gosh. Whew. It's like stone and fire together. Yep. Like chocolate and peanut butter. <laughs> Ch chocolate and peanut butter. With mac and cheese. Mac and no, cheese. No, that shit's gross. I'm, you don't like mac I'm and cheese? Bent. Hell no. Okay, what about fettuccine alfredo? No. Pasta is just uh, gross in general. It's too slippery. You know what? I know it's been a long time since we had that whole tangent, but that's probably another hot take for me. I don't really care for mac and cheese. Thank you. <gasps> I feel validated. How You're a good man, Vance you? no, Brown. Okay. That's fine. How? Like most, most other, most other like pasta-based cuisine, I will definitely go for. But mac and cheese is one I just, I don't know, it just never killed me all that much. Well, what about that's Alfredo then? What about, what about like tortellini Alfredo? I do not that, like noodles. That I like. Uh oh. Oh uh, no. Kerbo. Nice. Okay. What about you, Safe. Doug? Are there any, like, pasta dishes you like with cheese, or no? I don't care. Oh. If uh. you didn't get clipped underneath that platform, you could have made the grade, Kerbo! <laughs> when it comes to food-based uh, stuff, even uh, clashing together, I just don't care. I really don't care. Okay. Yeah. So you don't like pasta? I'm not saying I don't like pasta, I just don't care if someone asks me a question. Sorry, ninety-eight uh, percent yeah. of this channel is me starting. But what if? Weird but food what tensions. if we? But what if we wanted you to know you what your favorite food was? I don't care. What do you think? Okay. You, what do you think I am? Gordon Ramsay is going to be real? <laughs> but what if we invited you to a dinner party? I need to oh know what we're bringing for the potluck. What if we invited you to a dinner party and then Gordon Ramsay was suddenly there? I am Gordon Ramsay. Wait, what? What if I brought like thirty <laughs> shrimp? And you had a shellfish <laughs> allergy. I think that's why he said he was going to try food, because he was making sure he doesn't have an allergy. Fucking raw! I saw this earlier. Did you notice that whenever I sit down, because I'm wearing really my spear, my spear goes right through my foot? Yeah. What? Uh. Oh, Jesus Christ! Uh. Ow. It hurts. Also, oh, that's how he ha stands up on like I, 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 I want to say needle, but I mean, fire is so. I, I want to say. I'm it's trying to remember what gets us the waddle dee. I want to say it's needle. I think it's if you do it without taking damage. Well, that's for all of them, Miki. Or if you set them on fire. I'm, a, I'm gonna guess needle. Fine. No, no, no. no it's no, definitely cutter. It's definitely cutter. Okay, okay. He says it's definitely cutter. But if it's needle, then I get to laugh at both of you. I'll hold you guys to that. Okay. But Please be careful that, with those chocolate I'm getting mad. I know there's at least one of them where I have to go pro bono, but I forget it which one it was. Oh, that's Claroline. Look at all them chickens. Ah. No, wait, no, no. Claroline wants Ranger. Yeah. Hello. Oh, it's, I think it's the armadillo. Oh, Tropical Woods. He's got a soul patch. Oh, my God. <laughs> and he's got topical humor. I mean, tropical humor. Oh. But yeah, uh, besides these coconut bombs, I'll argue that Tropical Witch is probably one of the easiest bosses in the game. Easily. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's uh, a big tree. It doesn't man. fit with the theme of animals rising above. Which, it's I mean, well, it does explain a lot the further you get into the game. Right. I'm oh. bad! Also, I love how he makes, oh. like, the generic oh, monster roar from the 3 gas games. Like that yeah. freaking, like that stupid fire frog. Oh yeah, well, I want to watch out here because I know at some point he's going to start bringing out his uh, inner limbs. Oh, by oh, the way, those those cage great things can do damage. Also, break his roots. Oh yeah, that that is that is another achievement. There's one. See, That's there it. you go. All right now we can kill him. Oh, here comes. Hey, get that some bitch. Come on, get it, get it, get it, get him, get him. We yeah. still need to show you that show Ooh. eventually. I love oh, how God. he mouths out, Oh no! Oh, oh no! no. Oh, oh, my God. God. Yeah. Shouldn't have tried to kill me, son! <laughs> That's what you get. And let's, let's see, see, you get clear two minutes? Two minutes. Oh, we got a, uh, we got a magic scroll. Uh, what else? Go out take there, damage. No damage okay. taken. And that's it. Uh, pause. You moved. <laughs> well, we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't, we won't get that answer until we actually finish the level, unfortunately. And oh, okay. the noble ranger. Ooh, that'll come in handy. Anyway, Whee! we'll just have to. Work. That's another wild D we're gonna have to add to the uh, re to, res to the rescue list. You freed the baby. Because oh, that's right. I think we do need to get every one of them to get. To 
Ow. Ouch. All right. Was it Needle? So shall we. Oh, this was the I know it was this one! I fucking knew it was this one! <laughs> Wow. <laughs> so the answer, so the, so the real answer here is all of us were wrong. I didn't it. even say anything. Whoa. God damn it! Whoa. I was just doing my Gordon Ramsay Whoa. thing. Oh, you're speaking of that. Whoa! Uh, I'm scared. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> I love how it's kind of YouTube poop back there. <laughs> I love that bit so much. But anyway, oh look. So yeah, uh, Waddle D Town got a lot more. The postal good. service. Yep. Oh. Now that it has a full-on postal service. And our house. Yep. A full-on recreation of our home. Oh look at it. What do you mean a recreation? They just airdropped our house back <laughs> in. Oh, that's. It funny. is an exact replica. The sticky floorboards <laughs> and that and thing. Look, Fine dining the and breathing. Cafe. I knew it. Should we show off the cafe before we call it quits tonight? Yeah. And the job. Yeah, opening. we started early enough, and and yeah, help wanted because yep. Uh, what would a Kirby game be? What would a Kirby game be without Kirby's? <gasps> what would a, without mini games? And of course, we got our blueprints. Hey Kirby, where are you headed? To my job. You, you have, have a job. job? Also, oh, why, why not? Oh, hello, not Professor Peck. Yeah, close enough. <laughs> <laughs> Pac-Man. He's a college graduate. Exactly. It's just get just put Professor Pac-Man and change him, change him into a Waddle Dee instead. And there you go. Just give him a graduation cap and glasses. Bada boom. There's been some bad news coming. Ah. Oh. Or I'm not. Dead. Basically, if you talk to him, he'll pretty much give you a lowdown, a lowdown of uh, stats between you and a whole bunch of other players across the world. It's we can end idea. the world right now. Yep. Maybe we shouldn't have that here in this roof. Uh, <laughs> maybe we shouldn't put that next to the... F uh, hang on, new stuff. Yeah, maybe, maybe we, we should put that next that to the fire. the fire. Yeah, maybe we don't put that next to the fire building in there. Is our course our Actually, building. I want to say by this point, we have just about all, pretty much all but one copy ability left. Yeah. One or two, yep. give or take. It's time we and, I, and with all the freaking and all, with all the time in the world that James has been doing to leave me behind in the bonus rounds, we have more <laughs> than enough. We have more than enough rare stones to start upgrading this crap. Now you could become a Power oh. Ranger. It's the coins I'm hoping we have enough of. I'm pretty sure we have enough coins. Yeah. Well, get to it. So let's start off with the most practical upgrade first: the gun. The Power Ranger ability. <laughs> a gun. God. Yeah, it looks like you have enough. For his neutral special, he wields a gun. Get to I it. already made that joke in the first part. He Too bad. Did. We're bringing it back. I believe this is actually a very fun power-up upgrade, though, because now, what is better than one gun? Two guns! How about two guns? And you totally look like a pirate. Yeah, That's a very fluffy That's hat a... there. Pow, pow, pow. As the cowboy says, yeehaw. Army, matey! <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> This is a stick of <laughs> Just the way you just... Pa! <laughs> All right, put him up! We'll talk to you later, Nick. I gotta go. Okay, okay let's... Uh, okay, the other two are over here. Okay, the chain bomb. Chain bomb is very fun. Chain bomb's pretty good, but I think it pales compared to what, what, we'll, get, what we'll get uh, later. Oh, yeah. yeah. What, you mean these evolve more than just once? Yeah. Yep. Would you believe me if I said yes? In some cases, they evolve Maybe. more than three times. It wouldn't be the first time I was disappointed. What? <laughs> oh, is that a disappointment? The chain bomb. It means that this is worthless. Now I just look like a. I look like one of those um those um kind of types of cones you see floating in the water. You look like you a know traffic looks cone. Like, I was I was say you look like you belong. You, know I was, you look like you belong in, in Bomberman sixty four. What I was so about to say is so chain bombs are kind of nifty. It's nifty, but a little situational for my liking. What I was about to say is that, like, for some reason, the cone makes it look like ancient gear from Breath of the Wild. It kind of does. Oh, I it kind of. I can see that. The Change the, replace the uh, green with blue. Yeah, the little for, helmet. Or, and of course, you know, replace needle. the green with oh, right, blue. I almost forgot about you. Yep, because yep. Uh, this one's super special for any Kirby 64 enthusiasts. AKA yeah. me. I like Kirby 64 a lot. I just wish some of them uh, crystal shards weren't you so know, bill shit You know, Return to Dreamland's getting the remake tree, then why not Kirby 64? I think that game deserves it a whole lot more. I think so. Mm. Oddly enough, I think Return to Dreamland is the mo like my least played Kirby game as of recently. 
Well, I say, well, buckle up, Yiki, because you may be the one joining us for our return to Dreamland. Ret our return to return to Dreamland. I call dibs on uh, Slambo. Who's Slambo? Slambo? I don't know. Well, whatever oh, Kirby is, oh, oh, like, oh, red oh, or oh, blue. Oh. oh, that's right, yeah, because they that mode will allow us to all be Kirby's if we wanted to be. Uh, so I mean, it's funny, too, because I remember back in our old playthrough, we actually tried doing that for, like, one, for, like, one, like, uh, like one, half of one world, and it ended up, like, backfiring so hard on us because we were so used to literally having the whole ensemble. Yeah. I'll just stick with the d cute. So I'll the fun thing about Clutter ascension. Needle is that... Uh, when you release the button, you shoot out a couple, like, little junk projectiles that well, still hurt enemies. Uh, what was... What was Logan doing that little twirl in the midair for? What twirl? Because look at me, that. Look at me twirl. Ah! That's, that's air to lock control for you, son. It's called having fun. Ah, okay, and yeah, I was right. There was only one copy ability left. Yeah, yeah no, uh, this game doesn't have that much. Yeah. Well, because they all... Because they base all on the upgrades. Here, I'd say let's go work off our debt. I'd argue that they pick the more fundamental, like practical abilities for this. Oh yeah. So normally in Waddle D Town, you would you would usually find a Meta Mato just hanging out on a chair stool. Uh, from this point forward, no more freebies. Yep. Now you got to pay for it. Yeah. But in the SD, you can order. Oh, you can also also order to take it to go. But who needs to go food when you heat it right there? Yeah, I mean, it can be helpful. Uh, though that being said, if you're like if you're a smart curry player, you're never gonna buy anything here except for the maximum tomato. Yeah, but it never yeah. tastes as good. I know we, uh, the micro it makes it all soft and mushy and uh. No, I even would... just ordering in sometimes the food just degrades in quality after yeah. staying in the cardboard box set for a while. Aw, look at it. Let's eat it. Her mouth cake. Available now at your local Kirby Cafe. Which yeah. is to say, nowhere near here. I want, yep. that's what I was saying, I, I want that to come to Super Nintendo World. Hope you enjoy it! I would love a Kirby Cafe stateside. Look like, at them, the strawberries are the feats. Like hell, why haven't they made any, like, ca like Nintendo-themed cafe Ooh. near Nintendo Worlds in New York City? Delish. You, you know you have a good point. Okay. It's like, it's bad enough, it's bad enough that they got rid of Pokemon, like, the Pokemon Center just for the stupid Nintendo World so they could replace all the cool Pokemon decorations with, like, nothing. I know. But, oh my but gosh. they Icky. don't even, uh, provide food. Did you see, Icky, did you see that? Okay, hold down X to use the, the stock item. Icky, did now you... Now we'll work off our debt. Okay, I was like, Icky, did you see the freaking uh... The Pokemon Center thing in in like Tokyo, Japan, or whatever, where like they had that massive like that freaking uh, Mewtwo animatronic thing in the tank floating in the glass. Yes, I have, and no, and I'm impressed because I prefer Deoxys. Okay, so fine. I know you like Deoxys, but the, the Deoxys movie never got a real. Deoxys is cooler than Mewtwo. Okay. And Jirachi is a better Mew. I like the Jirachi movie. I do too. Okay. So this is how this works. Unfortunately, they let the co-op join. The co-op people join you. Uh, check each customer's food order. Select the right. Wait, item. that's an unfortunate. Thing. Be, dread <laughs> the dreaded lunch rush. Oh, 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 that's yeah. No, no. Beware! Beware! Hey, Kirby, ready to go commercial? But fortunately, this is really easy <laughs> in um, easy mode. Just right. It, it, right now, it's just two items. So and yeah, so you gotta keep an eye for the silhouette. So, I mean, we can just, yeah, talk about this bit. Uh, so, uh... I, I actually, why it's am like I, a quick Why am I needing to concentrate on this? It's one button press. And don't push the wrong one, or else you fail. Oh. I mean, you don't automatically fail, but it, uh, I think it does count down to your score. It makes the Waddle Dee a little bit more impatient. Uh-oh. Here they come! Ah! Choo -choo! Oh my gosh! It's an orchestra of wingies. And now, and I love, and I love the uh, description of this. Of like, you actually get to see like this is one of the f first times Kirby's ever actually looked stressed under pressure, working, <laughs> working for the service. Industry. I can't blame Kirby to be honest, though. You cannot defeat me. I worked in the fast food industry. <laughs> no, but hey, look no at more that. lunch for these fuckers. <laughs> Yay! Oh. Oh. <laughs> I was hoping it was just one extra Waddle Dee, and that was the bandanity. Wow. He jumps in his place. But hey, I am the winner. But uh, that I okay. This I'll say is kind of BS because literally the only reason why I won was because the game just decided to give me more of the uh, two of the, more Ds. Uh, yeah, of, of the freaking uh, what are they? What are the drinks called? 
Uh, uh, pep, pep drinks. Pep drinks, yeah. That was or the only pep, thing. Or pepper, yeah. So we'll do the other two difficulties because they ain't that bad. The next difficulty... Well, aside from this... I mean, hey, yeah. if you beat the Frenzy gig, you get a special prize. Oh, yeah. Oh, we do. Boy. So who's now we got... <laughs> oh, boy. We got Bubber oh, Crust God. Bump. And the, and the meter does, does drain faster, so the Waddle Dees get a little more impatient. Look, oh, it's been a long day for these little fellas. You gotta use your reflexes. Have you guys been seeing those uh, animations by Charles C. Bernando? Who? Uh, he's an animator on YouTube, and he did a bunch of uh, he did a butt ton of a uh, Kirby ones, like each dedicated <laughs> for all of the. Uh... <laughs> Don't worry, I'll, I'll I'll make do for my uh, for my uh, the incompetence of my partner here. This is probably oh. easier in co-op thinking about it. Oh no, absolutely! But I think, but I think they, but I think that's why there's two different game modes because they account for this by having the meter go down even faster. Oh right. Jeez. All oh, right, I wish there were more mini games than really this the cage. One, like, what about a minigame where you garden with the Waddle Dees? That'd be cute. Uh, there will I mean, be... that would be fun. Give it time. Maybe in the next uh, 3D Kirby game. There will be more that we can acquire, but... Okay. Which makes I me think... wonder, like, what are the plans for another 3D Kirby? Oh. oh, hey, we tied. Hey! Oh, then oh. Then oh but you, you, had, you had no wrong Ooh. orders. <laughs> all right. But all right, one more to go, but uh, I, I think... Uh, James, I guess on that topic, didn't they mention... Also, don't mind the confetti up there freaking the hell out. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah! This is what we get for trying to bend the rules just so we can both play together. Yeah, yeah, it's their applauding for you. But uh, what was it? Um, Alright, here we go. I'll get the fright oh, Here we go. Now week. we got the Kirby Burgers. The Kirby Burger, which is found at your, which is found at your local Kirby cafes. They're really nice. Quote-unquote uh, local. So yeah, yeah I'll, go for, I'll go for the next potatoes in case you go for the drinks and uh, burgers. Sure Wait, did you call them pancakes? Yes, pancakes. But, uh, Pancake. But uh, oh right. But uh, but the thing was that um, I think James was it you who mentioned that I guess there was some uh, a statement from them that they're going to be in the future pursuing similar to Zelda that they would have that they would pursue both three. Oh yeah, and no, they, 2D they they'll pursue both styles. Like this is not going to be the end of two two D Kirby. Nor the end of three D Kirby because I think this is a fantastic uh, step into it. Here we go. Oh boy, here we go, Man, and it's going to get even it's going to get even wilder. Now it's even harder. Like, notice how, fa how fast that fucking thing drains. Oh, well, yeah, that's... Oh, cake! cake. cake. Two cakes! Cake! Okay, uh... It's like the most impatient middle. group of waddle bees I've ever seen. Burger! Burger! Ah, so they're... Jesus Christ! Ah, They've been asking for burgers and drinks the most, I've noticed. First try, dude. It's Good a job. long day. Oh, yeah, Oof. we did it! Oh, but I... Oh, but apparently I served more. Okay, Oof. see the mind. totals? One more. No wrong orders? Okay, good. Three more. Wait a minute. <gasps> you win! I win! I yes, won! Kirby. By one waddle do. I bet me. that's worth a kiss, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no! I won! Sorry, that's what I thought. Anyway, yeah. They got a bunch of coins, too. Don't ask how we clap our hands by moving our arms in front of our faces, but it works. Thanks for your hard work, Thanks Kirby. for your hard work, Kirby. Hope you can help us out again soon. But wait, there's more! <gasps> Kirby! Uh, may I speak with you for a sec? I thought I was like, may I speak with your manager? Oh, that's me. Uh, <laughs> I am the manager. You've been helping us a lot lately. It's a tough gig, but you even handled the frenzy like a pro. So, uh, we'd like for you to have this special figure. Have a happy meal toy thanks. on the house. <laughs> exactly. Because <laughs> inside this little buddy here... Have you ever wanted a figure of the manager? Oh, it's a figure of yourself. It's a figurine mind. of you! Which, fun fact... Cur uh, <laughs> Kirby's taken on a side gig at the counter of this Waddle Dee Cafe. He's dressed like a focused employee, but he's secretly fighting the urge to gobble up each dish himself. This might be his greatest struggle yet. <laughs> Stay strong, Kirby! I want to eat it all! Which, fun, which fun fact I want to eat the figurine. Oh, we can't... And we are able to show this off. Just, yeah, trust me on this. Um... Yeah, the other thing, the other fun thing is that uh, I guess at the at the Kirby Cafe, if you come by yourself, which I've only seen photos of, because I of course oh my God. away from here, they actually have a giant like Waddle D plushie that can sit to sit with you. you. Yeah, <laughs> it's cute, but also a little sad on the uh, customer's case. Yeah. I think it's adorable. Anyway, just, uh, pretty cool. uh, yeah. So this was a system that I think they gave up on after like two or three months after the game's release. Uh, you can act. You could. Oh, go ahead. I'm pretty sure they still. I'm pretty sure they still. It's still active to the to this day. It's just that yeah, no, I don't think they've been pretty sparse as far as like uh, code distribution. Some of the codes are limited time only, though. Makes sense. Oh. Yeah, these codes are how you would uh, normally. These codes are how you would. Uh, you can get yourself more coins, more rare stones, 
But uh, there are a few selection of offline uh, codes that are found right here inside of Waddle D Town. So what we're going to do is, is uh, a after we talk to him, we're not going to be really going to this guy for much because as soon as he mentions, oh wait, I should have asked, do you already have a present code? Say cancel. Thanks very much. Hope to see you again soon. So we can go and check this wall he mentioned. Hello. Or, you know, Elf can Elf Link can point it out because hey, that's Elf you. Link will read and Kirby can't. Hey. Hmm? That's you. Oh, I, I completely forgot you talked. Yeah. <laughs> Something's written on this wall. Let's see. First password. Is that a hidden present code? Yeah. Sounds like it to me. Just let him know. Oh. Welcome! You can enter present code here to claim a deliver a delivery present. Delivery. Yeah, we have present codes that are announced online. We can connect online. Yes, we have. A, yes, we do have a code. And uh, press, oh fuck! No, no, don't worry. Because because what will happen is that it'll immediately say can't. So uh oh, I don't believe we want this one actually. No, this is the one. Oh, okay, okay. Without going. On. All right, because he tried and it failed. So we'll just put in in all caps. First, first. password. Oh, brother, just double tap. Out, oh, don't. There you go. Now the game for us for a sec. <laughs> make up your mind. Who do you want to? Who do you want to actually make this work? Sorry. Okay, I'll just type it because I'm fast. Yeah, you you go ahead and type it. This is technically your your rig, even though I'm technically first player. Because <laughs> I'm tight. Let's do it again. Shut shut up. Okay. <laughs> just straight, up easy, done with it. Sheesh. <laughs> straight up done. Straight up done. That's that. That's so overplay at this point. It's my thing. I don't mind it. Anyway, go check out the different presents on its way. Look for it in front of your house. By the way, fun, quick fun fact. Kurt, uh, usually they ask for a Kurt, Kirby signature, but he absolutely cannot write worth a damn. Nope. There we go. But they let it slide anyway, because, you know, it, 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 Kirby's the only one that actually gets these deliveries, as far as we're aware. There you go. You got some Coins! coins. Just a little, just a little something. It's oh, mine. Right. I know of a location of two more codes before we call a quiz. Oh, I don't want to do those codes right now. That yeah, well, no, I, could, I, I could show them. You don't have to use them, though. Hang on, there's something okay, up here. Okay, fine. Something Let's shiny. make it quick. Okay, well, first off... Okay, go grab that coin. Now go to the little patio on top of the cafe. Yeah, I think it was right here where you went and... I think... Uh, oh, uh-huh. Now go to that little shrubbery right there. This one? No, the one that Alpha one was just at. Right there, yeah. Hop into it. Into the shrubbo. Nope. Oh, oh, oh. Jeez. Oh. Are you sure you don't mean like the very... Hmm. There we it's go, right jeez. Dedicky. Kirby. Kirby the Gourmet. Oh, and finally, go to the, the uh, what's it called? The, the theater. The cinema. The theater. The movie theater. Theater. Interior. Anywho. They ate theater. Now check the I'll look good. Outside. There we go. Oh. Kirby story. I'm pretty sure that's a very obscure reference to the little poster of Kirby in Mario Luigi Superstar Saga. I believe it is. Because called Kirby yeah, story it. there. Yep. I mean, it also took place in a movie. It also took oh, place in the right, movie Yoshi. theater. Yep. Nifty, isn't now it? Now then. Now then. Let's go home. That sounds like a good idea. It's been a long day. Oh, and you also oh, get a photo. Cool. You also get a, for also completing the highest difficulty. You get a photo of our exploits over. If you keep doing amazing things, you might get enough special photos to cover this whole wall. You don't say. Also, right if you have the fire ability, you can start up the fireplace. <laughs> what get memories? An incredible journey. <laughs> Remember when we when we did a nine to five? Reminds <laughs> me of my first day in the inner city. <laughs> oh, and also, not not only is not only is there that, there's also this book, which is pretty much just free advertising for all all Hal's other Kirby games. Look at them all. You know, in modern day, at least. Featuring yeah. not Dream Buffet because that came out a year later. <laughs> well, and it, it's such great Wait, games like Kirby's Triple later? Deluxe, which will which will be a lot harder to get in this current day and age. Yeah, who know? But stay tuned for our playthrough of it anyway, because we because we like to do things weird. Best Kirby game. And then there's this game, which is almost next to impossible to get nowadays. But stay tuned for our playthrough of that, because I'm because I don't like playing by the rules. <laughs> and who could forever forget the game that was dead on arrival? 
never look forward to our playthrough of this game because I will never... No, I, we will find... What a, the hell's a 3DS? I, I, I'm sure we'll find some... I, maybe not on 3DS, but I'm sure that James and I could do could work a co-op playthrough of this game. The original game, we should stress. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, the 3DS version doesn't have co-op, but that's... Again, it was really so late into the 3DS's lifespan, it's like, what was even the point? But anyway, here's the real highlight behind Kirby, Kirby's uh, house. We get to go to sleep. Good. Oh. Kirby. Oh. Waddle Dee. <laughs> Aww.